What's up, y'all? Out here at the rain still doing some testing. Uh, as you can see in front of me, got my jelly contraption all set up. And what we're doing today, as you can see by the title, is we revisiting a test we did a week or so ago with some 38 Special out of my little two inch uh, Taurus revolver, 38 Special. What we saw in that was that just that two inch was not enough velocity to get these rounds moving fast enough and get them to expand. It just they just didn't expand. Uh, the PPU didn't even attempt to. The ammo ink started thought about doing it, but still didn't no expansion really whatsoever in them. So I figure what we do today is we're gonna step up the barrel length a little bit. So what we're working with this time is the Taurus 608 revolver. This one's a four inch barrel, so twice the length of the barrel as what we tested out that little two inch one. Uh, now this is 357 chamber, but of course shoots 38 special as well. So the Taurus 608, we're using the same exact ammo again, the Monarch or PPU uh, 158 grain, semi-jacketed hollow points. So the heavy ones there. And then again, of course, we're gonna use the ammo inks again, the 38 special 125 five grain jacketed hollow points so be interesting to see if double the barrel length gets these things moving quick enough I, i've got the uh speed wrote down from the other test so we can kind of compare and see what the speed difference is but hopefully with this extra barrel length we'll get these things expand and see if we can get them working right but let me get all this stuff out of the way and we'll get started all right, y'all, let's get us some speeds out of the four inch. Uh, I've got written down the old speeds from the three inch so we can kind of compare those two, but we'll do a two shot average on these. We're gonna start out with the 158 grain Monarch PPU. So here we go. Let's see what we can get, y'all. There we go. 764. And 758. And I'll be honest with you, that's not a whole lot more, but let's go check the average. All right, the two round average on the 158 grain Monarch PPU is 761 out of this four inch barrel. Out of the two inch barrel, it was 726. So not quite 40, not quite 40 feet per second difference. So, I mean, that's not a whole lot. What, 30, uh, 33, 34 feet per second difference, 35? That's not a whole lot of difference, but we'll see what difference it makes. But let me get us reset and we'll try the 125s. All right, the 125 ammo inks. Let's see what these will get out of that four inch barrel. I think I'm gonna have to move my chrono after this for my next test because I'm getting some weird shadows. So it wouldn't surprise me if we get some errors, but let's see if we can get through this one at least. Here we go, y'all. 867. And 849, so again, that's not a big difference, probably about the same. So let's go check it out and see what the average is. All right, so the two round average on the four inch barrel with the 125 grain ammo ink was 858. Out of the two inch barrel, it was 814. Uh, so that's the difference of what, 44 feet per second. So again, about a similar percentage of difference versus that 158 in the, th in the uh, two inch barrel. So pretty interesting. But as far as the difference here on this four inch, we got 858 here on the 125s. And if you remember the 158s, we got 761. So we got a difference of what, uh, 97, 97 feet per second. So that's right much difference for sure. So we'll see what happens in this jelly. Let me get all this out of the way. Y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's four inch barrel jelly time. Um, hopefully we can get a little bit of redemption on these. We're going to start out with the 115 grain Monarch PPUs first. I, I'll be honest with you though, uh, I, I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling good about it. I think we're going to have the same results. Uh, these, these 158 grainers, if y'all remember on that two inch barrel, they didn't even think about trying to expand. And I don't think the difference in velocity that we saw is going to make that much difference, but maybe I'm wrong. We're about to find out y'all. Here we go. All right, looks like a nice, good, clean hit. Let's go down there and see what happened. All right, y'all, <laughs> y'all saw it. it that, that's deja vu right there if I've ever seen it. That looks almost exactly like the results we got out of the two inch barrel. No penetration whatsoever. I can already see it through the gel. Absolutely no penetration. And it tumbled around backwards at the end of its travel, just like it did in that two inch barrel. Uh, 
that that round is pathetic as far as expansion i mean that you that must be they must have absolutely planned that to go out of a rifle uh, i mean it, it to me that, that is not a handgun round whatsoever uh but anyway let's let's try out these 125s these 125s wanted to expand out of that two inch so they may do a little something here on this four inch so let's see what they got for us y'all All right, exactly where I wanted to put it, right above that other one. Let's go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got here. At the top, that is the 125 ammo ink. At the bottom, that's the PPU 158 grainer. So the bottom one you can see went in there traveled on through the block very very little wound channel at all out of this 158 this is was basically a fmj all the way through here now right about here you can see that wound channel there that is that bullet and you can see the bullet sitting there so i'm assuming it tumbled right here started that tumble and it's sitting there backwards and i'll measure these penetrations but if i'm remembering correctly i think these penetrations are exactly the same almost exactly the same as we got out of that two inch barrel uh, so that was the ppu the top one is the ammo ink now right in here there's a lot more wound channel out of this ammo ink because as you'll see here in a second it done the same thing as the two inch barrel it, it wanted to expand bad but it just didn't have it in it so definitely more wound channel here goes about here and it stopped i'll show you it's barely peeking through in this other block and if i'm not mistaken i'm almost positive that same thing happened on the two inch it just barely peeked into the other block i could be mixing my tests up but i'm almost positive that's the same penetration as we got on the two inch and from what i'm seeing it's the same exact expansion so both of these rounds again um I won't say this ammo ink performed pitifully because actually that I wouldn't complain about that ammo ink round out of that four inch barrel looking at the wound channel and looking at the penetration I wouldn't you know and, and like we've always said before in any of these wounds any of these rounds that we're testing would certainly do the job but it's just a matter of how well and and the over penetration or under penetration or lack of expansion so on and so forth you know we can debate that and we always do you know all day long but as far as what they are supposed to do again these rounds did not perform well at all i mean they just did not but let me give you all some views from overhead and let you take a better look so here we are overhead the highest one which will be on the right here looking at it at this angle that's the ammo ink you can see you can see pretty pretty nice wound channel now the bottom one the ppu was pathetic going here there's the end of the block you can see it poking through to that next block and there's where it stopped in that next block now that monarch ppu kept rolling again that's that track there you can follow here the furthest lift you'll see it it's right down, right down in there at the bottom that's where it tumbled and there it is laying backwards as you can see from this angle completely turned around backwards and there's the ammo ink and you can already see it did almost just like it did last time it wanted to expand bad but it just didn't have it in it this one here did not even try the ammo ink we're gonna give that 16 and a half inches it just it went look like it it actually went about 17 and rebound back to about 16 and a half so that's the ammo ink one so actually i mean that that's not a terrible perform around for what it was supposed to do as we'll see here in a minute it didn't perform well but as far as just general defensive purposes i wouldn't complain too much about that round uh the ppu it's all the way out here at 24 inches 24 inches of, of penetration out of that or out of a semi and that's a semi jacketed y'all that's not even a full jacket that's semi jacketed and it did not even attempt to expand at all um so let's pull these projectiles and take a look at them all right y'all let's take a look at these projectiles now as you can see this is the ammo ink here and it definitely expanded more than the two inch i still would not call that anything it's definitely not impressive whatsoever you can see how much it mushroomed very very little uh that being said it is a half inch that's a half inch projectile measured from point to point the furthest points uh half inch expansion but the monarch the ppu again nothing if you i don't know if you'll be able to tell but right along the edges is a little bit of deformation on the top rim of that ppu 
but I mean practically nothing, practically nothing at all as far as expansion. Uh, but like I say, the ammo ink definitely expanded a little more than out of that uh, out of the two inch barrel. I wish I would have brought that projectile with me, but I'll put a link. You can go back and check that video out if you hadn't seen it. Uh, and it, it's really similar, but it is a little bit more expansion. But either way, very underwhelming. Both of these rounds, again, very underwhelming, even out of a four inch barrel. And, and you know, something like this ammo ink, I mean, that's a defensive round. And who in the heck is gonna be carrying longer than a four inch barrel, 38 special for defensive purposes? Very few people very few people so that's that's definitely disappointing i you know again it would definitely do the job it had a it had a good enough wound channel and and good expansion but i mean that's that's just to me and and but that's having to do a four inch barrel to even get that, that that's just that's just very underwhelming i think that's poor performance out of both of these rounds but let me know down in the comments what y'all think about these all right, y'all, we gave both of these rounds a chance to redeem themselves by using a longer barrel. And again, in my opinion, they disappointed. Uh, the ammo ink did a little better than the last one out of that two inch barrel. And like I say, I would not, if I had no other choice, I would carry that round for defensive purposes. It got a decent wound channel and it got good penetration. So it, it didn't it didn't perform badly overall as far as defensive purposes. Uh, the Monarch PPU is absolutely awesome awful that's an absolutely awful round uh, that that round has to be targeted specifically for rifles that that's the only thing i can think because that's even a semi-jacketed round that that should expand easier especially moving it to a four inch barrel because you know if, you, if you're if you're to say that's a defensive round there's no way who in the world is going to carry larger than a four inch barrel 38 special for defensive purposes very few people very few people uh but let me know down in the comments what y'all's thoughts are on these things were you surprised that the four inch didn't help it much at all or is that about what you were you're expecting to see let me know down in the comments. I'm very curious about that. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to check out a lot more of these videos coming on the way. That way, when I upload them, they'll pop up on your page for you. You can check them out. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to. Get a notification when I upload them. You can find them even easier that way. Check my Amazon affiliate storefront link down in the video description. Like I always ask, if you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link first and use it as a bookmark instead of regular Amazon bookmark. Click through there. You can go right to the regular Amazon site through that link. Do your shopping just like you always do. It doesn't cost you an extra penny. And we do get a kickback from Amazon towards the channel for anything you buy through Amazon after you go through that link. So I greatly appreciate that. Appreciate all my range gang members who reach down and hit that join button. That definitely helps the channel out. I really do appreciate that. Like I always tell you, I appreciate every single one of y'all who watches my videos, who thumbs up, who hits the subscribe button, who leaves me comments down below. I really enjoy reading y'all's comments. So make sure you leave me those comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. But got a lot more stuff on the way. So make sure you stay tuned. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.